Hey there Virgos, this is Lori of your Empress Energy. I hope you're all doing well. I'm going to go ahead and do your weekly reading. But first I want to roll the zodiac die and see what energies might be in the room or who you might personally be dealing with. We have strong Libra, Capricorn, Pisces, Aquarius, Taurus, and Gemini. This is exactly what came up just now. For, for the Libra reading, exactly the same way. That is weird. And I had just said that those energies had not come up like that in a long time. So <laughs> something's up with that. All right. I have the number die. I'm going to go ahead and roll those two. All right. So on this one, we have two, one, six, ten, five, and nine. And on this die, we have on top is 15, 5, 7, 13, 1, 17, and then 19 is showing. Now, I want to point something out. You have two fives. You have three ones. You have two sevens. Oh, you have four ones. One, two, three, four, five ones. One, two, three, four, five ones. But that's 11, 11, okay? Two sevens and two fives. And I was just about to pick the die up. And the number here is three. So you have two threes, two fives, two sevens. I hope you're writing this down, you know, because you should be playing like the lottery or something, I'm thinking, with these numbers. All right. So maybe I should read you what two fives mean, as that's the number on top from the angel numbers. It says change things will look different when you ask for what you want your angels deliver and that time is on its way you are being told that your intentions are being taken seriously lay in meditation with your hands over your root chakra at the base of your spine repeat this mantra i am ready for what is next okay so that was five five Let's look up 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. Calm your fears. You are supported. The fears you have may not go away anywhere anytime soon, but they don't have to control you. Your angels are reassuring you that they give you their full support. Work on calming your fears today by taking a bath, going on a nature walk, or simply enjoying a cup of tea. All right, and I'm going to read you um, two fives, two sevens, two threes. So three, three. This one says, love and peace. You are never alone. Your angels are with you, listening and receiving your prayers, but they want you to stretch a little bit further. What can you do to help yourself today? Reflect on a present problem and think of one way to make it slightly less difficult. No matter how small the action is, it matters. And I'm being, I'm being told to relate to you the last message you just had that said take a bath, take a walk in nature, do something different, write down these things that you can do that will calm your fears and help you stretch yourself out just a little bit more. Okay. All right. Great messages there. Let me go ahead and pull two spirit animal oracle cards from the Colette Baron Reed um, deck. I have been shuffling these fan styles, so they are really mixed up. But it's funny because the exact same messages keep coming out, which means those are the important messages that need to be heard. Okay, so I have always pre-shuffled, um, cut with intentions, okay? So we will see what comes out for you, my Virgos. Card 21, Dove Spirit, B peace okay and i don't know if we've had that card yet and i know we've had this one pig spirit use your mind wisely card number 47 now this boils down to three and this adds up to 11 11 i mean just 
Okay, I'm going to read what 11 and 111 means for you, Virgo, because they seem to be your number today. 11 and 111. Let's start with 111 first, because I'm right here. 111 says screenshot. Pause and reset your thinking. When you see the number 111, think of the universe as taking a screenshot of your frame of mind right now. Everything that is going on, all your thoughts, feelings, goals, and dreams is going to be replicated. So get on a high vibe quickly so that you can manifest your best life moving forward. If you wish, you could repeat this mantra. I am in alignment with my authentic self. I am in alignment with my true self. Okay, that's number 111. Let's see what 11, what the number 11, the awakening you are being called to attention. Your angels want to send you signs, but first they need to make sure you'll be paying attention. This number asks that you ask for you to notice the world around you so that you don't miss the important messages coming your way. Ask your angels for confirmation after you see this number. Repetition is their way of getting your attention. So even if it's not 11 or 111, 333, 5577, that's repetitions, okay? And you'll probably be seeing these numbers all around you now so that you are being called to pay attention to, um, so that when the messages from your angel and spirit come in, you're ready to hear it, okay? So keep yourself opened up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the Celtic Dragon deck here and get your weekly message out here for you. While I'm doing that, I would like to invite you to like this video if it resonates with you. And of course, I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for being here and coming back. I really do appreciate you. If you are a first time viewer, I would like to say welcome, welcome, and thank you for being here. Either way, returning or new viewer, I want to say how grateful I am to each and every one of you for taking time to be here on my channel and help me grow. Uh, my channel is here for you, okay? We've got the first four cards of your message. So we've got the Three of Cups. Looks like some celebrations. Oh my goodness. Six of Cups, the Sun, and the Four of Pentacles. You cannot ask for a better start. I mean, this is fantastic. Whoa. And the Seven of Cups, choices, okay? Ace of Cups. Oh, my gosh, this is so weird. I just did the Libra reading. I'm going to wait until your cards are all out of here. Okay, oh, my gosh. This just such a coincidence. I mean, just so crazy. Libra had almost all pentacles. Only two cards were not pentacles. You've got all these cups, okay? They had one major arcana, the hermit. And they had um, a sword card. So you've got two wands, four cup cards, a major arcana, and the four of pentacles. So the number, number four definitely means something. You've got two aces. So you've got two awesome beginnings here offered up by the divine, by spirit, Virgo. Fresh starts, okay? Inspired. Uh, this is the ace of cups, too. This is like, no matter what cup you decide to choose to focus on, like your health, your career, your money, your relationships, whatever aspect of your life you decide to focus on the divine is saying that they've got you and that you're covered they're going to support you they're offering you a brand new fresh start you don't have to pick is what i'm hearing you don't have to pick which cup every cup you choose will be overflowing with abundance look at the sun coming out here okay so this is fantastic. You've got celebrations galore coming your way, okay? The Six of Cups, to me, talks about uh, things from the past, people we've known for a very, very long time, um, getting together with people that you haven't seen in a long time. Um, it 
and I do see that happening for some of you Virgos. Okay, you've got the Three of Cups celebrations, friendships. This is that's the type of energy that's happening here. You are celebrating um, getting back together with people you have not seen in a long time. You, it's like the sun is coming out for the first time in a very, very long time. Okay, you've got you've got the Ten of Wands here, which talks about all the burdens that you have been through in your life. Okay. Um, one thing I want to mention about these burdens is that you're at card 10, at the 10 of wands, you are setting those burdens down, but you can use those burdens, those, um, each burden was a lesson in, in your life, okay? So which instead of just setting them down and walking away, which would not be advised, absolutely not advised, otherwise you will not end a karmic cycle, Take the lessons learned from that and build your new future. Build a solid foundation for your future. And that's what I'm hearing with this Four of Pentacles. Stability. Four. Four corners. A foundation. Build a foundation with this. All of your burdens. Okay. Ha! Look at that. Four of Wands. Um, for some of you, you may have a... Um, soulmate coming your way but with this sun here the four of wands four of pentacles i'm seeing oh i'm seeing twin flame is coming okay the empress right behind the king of swords and the high priestess this is incredible nine of swords you've been all up in your head you have really definitely been up in your head about past issues you've taken yourself away this is your energy right here uh, Virgos, the hermit, okay? You've taken yourself away from society, away from the distractions of life, out of, you, you're solo. You're going completely solo here and learning your harsh truths is what I'm hearing, okay? You're learning about all of these things that have, oh, all these swords that you had that are all broken, Okay, each of these swords is broken. They're dented, they're, they're destroyed. And in, in, in this card, I'm really seeing someone up in their head saying, how did this happen? How could there be nine swords that are all broken like this? And your guardian angels are sitting back here looking and just kind of like, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do for you. You have to do this. You have to go through this. You have to... Have your eyes open. We're here. We're here emotionally, but you have to see for yourself what caused this, okay? And it looks like some sneakiness or deceitful behavior. Nine of Wands. Same thing as with the Nine of Swords. The Nine of, nine of Wands is feeling uh, like the wounded warrior, okay? But you're asked to learn lessons from those nine wands high priest with a high priestess woof major intuition eight of cups walking away from things that don't serve you you are headed for some happier times though okay two of cups okay all right so i am seeing here for my virgos collective um catching up with old friends okay fresh new starts um, celebrations, a sense of ease, putting down your burdens, okay? Starting a future with um, a stable foundation, okay? You've got the Magician, the Seven of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. You're turning around this... this Okay, you are getting rid of this attitude of being the wounded warrior. You're taking the knowledge of what has happened um, with each of these nine wands, okay, that you've been confronted with. The deceptions, the lies, the cheating, the not being open and honest, and you're turning these around, okay? You're... you're and I'm not saying that necessarily it's it's you, okay? I'm 
but this is where you're, you've been at, okay? This is your past energy, and you're turning this around. I'm going to put these back in here. Yeah, you're looking to restore balance in your life. Okay? Nine of Pentacles. Independence. Five of Wands. Ooh, you got a couple of queens here. Hmm. And neither one of these queens is a pentacle. They're wands, cups, and then the king of pentacles is here, which would be you. So what I'm seeing is that neither one of these queens is for you. They're not right for you. Yeah. Tower moment. Then you meet the right one. The emperor. The magician again. Okay, so I am going to shuffle this deck one more time, and then I'm going to add, I'm going to get the other deck, and I'm going to ask for clarification on any obstacles or things that you do not see coming. I'm going to actually put that as two different questions. Ah, there's something coming that you do not see coming because the moon hides things. There's going to be an ending to something that was not satisfying. Ending of the deceit, clear communication. Okay, let's, okay, I'm going to switch decks here. Can we please get clarification on any obstacles that the Virgo Collective may not be aware of? Any obstacles in their way of achieving this happiness, this um, fresh new start? Are there any obstacles that Virgos may not be aware of? Thought another card was going to flip there. It didn't, though. We got one here. Okay, here's another one. Hmm. It says that you will be moving on to more peaceful times. However, um, it may or may not happen. Okay, um, you have the strength card here in reverse. I'm, I would like some more clarification, please. Sorry about the motorcycle going by. We don't usually have them turned down my street, so it must be one of my neighbors bought a motorcycle or he's got a friend visiting. Ooh, the Empress. Oh, now we got messages coming out all over the place here. Okay, so we've got clarification, okay? All right, so what we've got here is the devil, the ace of wands, and the ten of pentacles. We had the uh, empress card come out with this okay and this all goes together because this is all part of the same question which was obstacles that may be in your way okay so what i'm seeing is playing the devil's advocate with with your empress okay the empress um is usually represents your your person, okay? The person you're with, the person that you see as being everything to you, okay? Yet you've got the strength in reverse. So this shows a lack of compassion towards this person. Devil may care attitude, only wanting a certain type of relationship for this person and thinking money will solve all the problems. Okay. So if that happens to be any part of your mentality, I would say that you need to let that type of um, energy go so that you can move on to happier times. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to ask 
that was obstacles, okay? So I'm now going to ask about anything that you may not see coming. Just anything. Good, bad, negative, or good, bad, or indifferent. Anything that Virgos may not see coming, okay? Just something they are not aware of. Can you please give us a message about anything that the Virgo Collective may not be aware of? Okay. Ooh. The Magician and the Seven of Wands. So far. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. All right. Okay. These came out sideways. The King of Cups and the Hanged Man and the Queen of Pentacles. She came out upright. The Magician and the seven of wands so what you may not see coming i'm going to leave these here for just a second because these came out and the magician was like crossing no the magician came out with the uh seven of wands so the seven of wands talks about having to defend yourself stand your ground um And the magician, is you trying to make things work in your favor. I'm actually, instead of seeing the seven of wands here where you're standing your ground, I'm seeing the, the eight of swords, or the seven of swords where... It's a different energy. It's just a different energy. Okay. And what I'm seeing is you're trying to manifest it so that things work out in your favor. Okay. You don't want to have to defend yourself anymore. You want people to see things from a different perspective. You want to be seen as the King of Cups towards a Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, so that's, I mean, that's all I'm getting from this. That That's what I'm hearing, feeling, sensing, being told, is that you are tired of defending yourself. You don't want to have to do it anymore. You're trying to manifest a situation to come out in your favor so that people see you as the King of Cups, a caring, loving, fair, and only because there's two people here as a mate, as a spouse. But if you look at these two, they're not, they're not the same suit. Okay, they're not both cups, they're not both pentacles. They're, neither one's looking at each other. So there's some sort of separation here. Um, you want to be viewed this way. And this person is more concerned about their, their money. Okay. But this is how you want to be viewed. That's what this hangman talks about with this card. That you're trying to change your image. Okay. Okay. So that's that may just be something that you know about. I don't know anything about it. It's your life. Um, I could draw some more cards here and get clarification on that. Let me go ahead and do that. Let me just see if we can get any clarification, any further clarification for Virgos. You're going to get communication, clear, concise, um, in intelligent communication. And who would this communication be from? Can you give us clarification about who this communication will be from? The fool. Somebody who will take a leap of faith or you view as a fool. 
Any more clarification on this, please? Hmm. All right. Um, I've got the star card on the bottom here. And what I'm seeing here and hearing is that there is going to be clear communication with the fool, okay? So somebody who, this is, um, represents the Aries um, fire sign. Somebody who is willing to, who's adventurous, okay? Um, willing to take a challenge, willing to take a chance. But there will be clear communication, okay? And uh, and there will be balance restored, a sense of renewal, um, of relief, of health, of vitality. But you got to leave something in the past. Hmm. Yeah, decision, fast forward. Again, Aries energy. Um, a decision where you move forward quickly, but equal, balanced, okay? And here's that King of Cups and Queen of Pentacles. Okay, um, it looks like things will turn out in your favor with whatever this situation is. So whatever you don't see coming, it, it, there's going to be some sort of clear communication. Um, I am getting for some of you that it is uh, judicial, legal, contracts, but you, you, you've got celebrations coming. Hmm. Wish fulfilled down there. Okay, what I want to do is um, go ahead and, yeah, you've got a victory heading your way. Okay. For those in love and wanting answers about romance, okay, you may not even be in love. You may be wondering where your person is if you don't have a person. If you are involved with a person, you may get a message from the romance angels concerning them. If you are in a relationship and you have an interest to get an answer about your person, the romance angels may give us a message here, okay? So, we will see if the romance angels have a message for any of the Virgos who are interested in love. The first one says, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So, somebody has a, a soulmate on the way, I think. Twin Flame... You've already, you've known this person. You, at some point, you've met this person. Can we get clarification on that situation, please? Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So some of you may be separated from this person already. Um, or if you've, just connected with somebody you may have to spend some time apart maybe because it's a long distance relationship let's get some more clarification okay it says getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond will deepen okay let's see if we can get any more information Any more messages for the Virgo Collective in love or looking for love? Release your ex. Hmm. The time has come to clear your energy. So some of you, yes, I do remember this, Virgos. Some of you are married. That's what the legal stuff is about, the separations, the paperwork. Okay. Okay. Yes, you cannot go into a new relationship holding the baggage from an old one. It will just cause the new relationship to fail. Okay. All right. Any more messages for Virgos in love or looking for love? 
Any other messages here? Go. Two more cards. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And children. Your love life is being affected by children. So either you or this person, your, your um, romantic partner, maybe somebody um, has kids from a previous relationship. And possible that some religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay. Awesome. I hope those messages meant something to some of you. If it did and they resonated or this message resonated with you, um, please leave me, um, drop me a comment, like the video. And of course, I would always appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Okay. I'm going to read you your cards from the um, Spirit Animal Oracle. Card 21, Dove Spirit. I'm not sure if we've had this one yet. Be peace. With her peaceful cooing, the gentle dove spirit invites you to embrace the energy of peace and allow compassion to warm your heart. Hmm. You always have the power to generate peace within you. And the appearance of dove spirit is a reminder that today and every day is a good day to meditate. To quiet any turbulence within you as you embody tranquility above below and all around you much might be happening to distract you but you are called to engage it with a heart of a peacemaker asking yourself what would peace do can you agree to disagree the peace that you seek rises within and spreads out into the world as spirit sends her messenger messenger to remind you of the beauty of a harmonious existence with all that is. How beautiful and powerful is your compassionate heart. Your protection message reads, However disturbed the waters are around you, however troubled your heart, Dove Spirit is there to remind you that peace without begins within as you reconnect with spirit through practices that awaken you from spiritual amnesia. Your true nature is as a peaceful child of spirit, but how easily you forget. You're being invited to sit in the cozy, safe nest of spirit. Soon, the waters will become still and you will feel peace again. Be compassionate with yourself at this time, for all of us can forget that peace is always at hand, always there, gifted to us by spirit. Become the peace that you wish to see in the world so you can reduce any suffering, performing acts of kindness, and radiating love. Dove Spirit also reminds you that when you see inequity or someone harmed or in need, trust that you have the capacity to bring peace through smiling, sending love, speaking a kind word, and listening with a compassionate heart. Do your part to be a peacemaker, nourishing compassion, reminding others of the joy of harmonious coexistence so that they may embrace the Dove Spirit within themselves too. Powerful message there. And I think that tied into the messages that were trying to come out here. I, I'm, I, know I, I know you got the strength card in reverse, which talks about not being compassionate so I think that, and that was um, obstacles. What obstacle are you facing? And that strength card came out in reverse. So keep compassion at hand. Maybe uh, meditate. I think uh, that was the message that was coming through there. Okay, pig spirit. And this pig has wings. Okay, this pig can fly. Okay, it says, use your mind wisely. Pig spirit appears to remind you of the right use of intelligence, a gift we all have that is meant to be used with love, compassion, and discernment. Intelligence means recognizing the value of intuition, partnered with smarts and common sense, which leads to intelligent solutions. When pig spirit appears, you are called to respect your analytical mind and use it for the highest good, recognizing that all 
facts must be considered even when they do not fit with what you know already. Spirit blesses us with wisdom when we allow pig spirit to nudge us into open-minded, thoughtful dialogues, whether with others or internally, as we mull over our ideas and what we have come to understand. You are intelligent and capable of clear-minded thinking, shaped by the wisdom that you have accumulated and the intuition that will tell you when you have more learning to do, because not all of the facts are in. Now is a time that your decision-making powers are reliable, for you are in alignment with Pig Spirit's keen intelligence. Again, that tied into the compassion at the beginning there. Okay, your protection message. Are you ruminating, turning thoughts around and around in your head, but not getting nearer to a decision or solution? Pig Spirit is here to protect you from analysis paralysis. Let your mind rest right now and allow your intelligence to mingle with the mysteries of intuit intuitive guidance, releasing your tight hold on the facts and unsolved puzzles, whether it be a relationship or any other aspect of your life. In fact, now might be a good time to think about something else altogether and release your grip on needing to know. When your thought processes are muddied by fear and anxiety, allow pig spirit to lead you back to the right use of your natural intelligence. Take a break, relax, and release that ball of worry. Soon, the smart choice will become clear to you. More facts may be needed, more digging for information, and more questioning. When seeking to learn more, enjoy the process of using your thinking prow prowess. All the elements of your intelligence are reliably guiding you now once you've given your mind a rest. Great message there. All right, so that's what I have for you guys. I am going to roll this die that has 26 letters on it plus a couple of wilds. For the new people here, I will roll this five times. I will hold it up here so you can take a screenshot or write the letters down. If you miss anything, just go ahead and... Um, rewind the video and I just noticed I have a blob of um, super glue on my finger <laughs> my nails were all breaking yeah look how bad that one is can you see how bad that nail is let's see if we can get it focused right there that is horrible and it keeps breaking you can see it keeps breaking right down anyways sorry about the distraction there I will roll this five times if you miss anything just go ahead and rewind the video, okay? And you can use these letters. It might spell out a name and an, um, a place. It could be the initials for something you know. It may be a secret code between you and another person. You have, um, you may use it any way that you wish. And if you choose not to participate, that's fine too because we all have free will. Speaking of free will, if I have not mentioned it, in the description box below this video, you will get the information on how to win a free personal reading from me. And all you have to do, there's more infor information down there, but all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to this channel, and drop me the comment, free will, F-R-E-E -E space W-I-L-L, -L, free will, in the comments below, and you get entered into the... Um, Contest for the free reading, okay? So, let's, without further ado, let's roll this dice five times so I can stop talking. All right, roll one. Is the letter O on top? Roll two. Is the letter C on top? Roll three. Is the letter K? Four, and I'm sorry that's allowed, but this is a wood table, so. O on top, and this is an N over here, okay? The line is always on the bottom, and that would be a P. Is that P? Yeah, P. Oh my God, the P and the Q confuse me sometimes. And roll five. Is the letter R. Okay, my Virgo friends, I hope you found this uh, message enjoyable. 
Until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.